everyone, Tony here for the Civ Sim channel. Welcome back to another exciting War Thunder video. This time bringing you patch 1.39 uh, for War Thunder. Uh, recently, uh, during April Fool's Day, when they had uh, Snailzilla or Godzilla or Galilla or whatever the heck he was called. Uh, uh, and I had a chance to check out some of the new planes that are going to be coming out. And uh, one of them is the aircraft you're seeing me uh, tinker with uh, right now, which is the F-82E. Uh, which, uh, or the P-82, I should say, Twin Mustang. Uh, which is uh, one of its variants. Um, as you can see, uh, you have the uh, someone got the bright idea of saying, Hey, the Mustang's a great plane. Why don't we put two of them together? Uh, with those wonderful engines, uh, and, um, so yeah, that's, uh, what they did, um, now the, uh, P-82, a little interesting, uh, factoid, um, obviously was made by, uh, North American, uh, towards the end of World War II, this variant obviously is the, um, uh, P-82E, they also made the P-82F and the P-82G, and, um, they were, uh, designed to be very versatile, um, uh, they were the Air Force's last piston aircraft, and, um, they had a speed of more than 475 miles per hour, so they were kind of a fast aircraft, but obviously jets at this time were going far, far faster, uh, at this point, so that's why it will end up being the last jet. Right now I'm taking it up, uh, over Pearl Harbor in a little test flight to see how this thing goes, um, but yeah, the aircraft, uh, as you're going to see, is not really, um, it was meant to be, and I'm looking at, uh, for example, uh, Boeing's website, this is where I'm getting some of the history on it, um, its first flight was on June 15, 1945, and uh, what it was primarily uh, used for um, uh, was... Uh, Operations um, such as being a night fighter. Well, it's, this is kind of early morning. So a night fighter, an attack bomber, a rocket fighter, and a long-range escort. Um, it was also designed for uh, reconnaissance and as an interceptor. But it's not a full-blooded uh, fighter. Um, and even though it's got two great engines, this thing really, especially. Well, I'm not sure if it's the pl a proper flight model at the moment. But man, this thing is lumbering. I knew. I mean, my goodness, I can barely get this thing, and I'm using WEP right now, wartime emergency power. I'm not even sure that's going to be in the regular game, and I could barely get off the ground with this thing. This thing's got two Mustang engines. Come on now. But uh, I, oh my goodness, this thing is—it's practically stalling and falling into the water there. Come on, pull up, pull up. Come on. Uh, but yeah, th uh, uh, so this is going to be my initial <laughs> reaction. I, I should have probably said that at the beginning. Uh, but uh, dang, this thing thinks. Uh, I mean, I'm I, I'm actually afraid that this thing's actually just going to crash into the water. My goodness, this thing. Uh, granted, I believe this was um, meant to be more of a high altitude type aircraft. So um, I'm not so sure about the low level, even though. Um, for it being a um, uh, a uh, attack bomber and a rocket fighter, I mean those uh, you know have to kind of get low like I am doing. Let's see, I'm gonna I don't usually use the cockpit view, so I'm gonna try and see if I can't use this. So I might fire a few shots a little early, see if I can't hit that one and only target. I wish they had more of these in a the test flight, uh, but oh well, we'll try and get the rule. Okay, there we go. Okay. A little worried there. Okay, you can see it uh, blowing up there. Uh, but whew, this thing, I, I mean, this thing, you uh, warp again. Whew, this thing, I, I know it's hard to tell, but this thing really does seem to want to uh, fly into the ground. This thing is just a lumbering beast. Um, I'm actually kind of concerned about it because this thing, you know, oh my goodness. Uh, definitely at low altitude, this thing is going to be easy prey for any th high altitude fighter. I'm, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, this thing, let's try to roll right here. Oh, no, not, no, this thing's not uh, going to roll for you. Oh, my goodness, this thing's just a beast. 
I mean, it's like a flying rock. I'm not even sure. I, I, I actually think the duck cannon plane's more maneuverable than this, believe it or not. Uh, but then again, this is just the, um, the uh, dev server, I should also say that. So the flight model is probably not correct. Uh, let's see if we can hit those targets. Oh my god, this is... I, I might crash this thing. Uh, uh, let's see if I can hit anything. Am I going to hit anything? Oh, got one. Go get another. Oh, no. Oh, pick up. Pull up, pull up. Oh, well, never mind then. Alright, I've jumped into a, another game, and, uh, and this again is showing you how long this bloody thing takes to, to take off. My goodness. Um, I mean, almost at the end of the runway using WEP, but once again, try and get this thing back in the air. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, this thing, I mean, you do not want to fly this thing. Uh, decap a bit uh, if, if you're in arcade you, you don't want to use this thing at least as it is right now to uh, cap the base or anything um, you'll, you'll just, you're never gonna make it I mean you can suicide I guess but uh, uh, I'm not saying it yeah this thing I mean I'm fighting just to keep this thing in the air uh, this thing is now granted I'm doing it at low altitude but if you're like most players you're especially in arcade you're gonna play this low altitude to attack the ground targets um, I mean there's no like uh, award for being an in uh, for being a reconnaissance aircraft yet uh, in uh, War Thunder unless I guess you're in the missions or something but that's not the you know multiplayer mode so once again we're gonna try and take out that lone target but yeah, this thing, um, I'm not sure, I, I, I mean, the light bombers, the Blenheim, I mean, is more maneuverable than this. The bow fighter, I mean, even the duck cannon plane, uh, this thing only has, you know, um, uh, the, uh, what was it, seven something? I have to check the, uh, millimeters again, uh, on this, but it doesn't have cannons, so I'm gonna see, let's see, trying to loop it, she's not gonna loop, nope, stalling out. Now, granted, I I think if you got this high enough and dive and build up build up enough enough speed, you probably could loop this thing. But um, I mean, granted, this thing was designed to be a hell, high, hell, a high altitude um, aircraft. But heck, this thing, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, definitely at low altitudes, this thing is not very good. And unfortunately, the way it's probably going to be used in the game. Um, I'm, I don't, I don't see this as a fighter. That elevator right there, I mean, that's just gonna be very easy. I mean, uh, for anyone to shoot at, I mean, you're gonna lose that elevator, or maybe even break that wing off. That would be very interesting if you lost that, like that middle ring, and and what would happen there. Um, I'm gonna try again and, and try and hit those uh, moving ground targets. But yeah, this thing, uh. As you can see, its uh, reaction time is also slow, so if you jerk it up, you can't do any last-minute maneuvers in this thing, at least as it is right now on the dev server. Uh, and I, I, I can't uh, emphasize that clearly enough because occasionally the flight models do change. So, uh, But right now, okay, got one. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, whew, that was close. <laughs> I don't want to crash again. Oh, you know what? I think I see some boats over there. Um, should I go back? Hmm. I'm thinking whether or not to go for those, um, ground targets or for the boats over there. Yeah, hmm. What should I do? Up, oh, going a little lower. Come on. Pull up, stay. Whew. Yeah, this thing's definitely not very, uh, very maneuverable. Yeah, let's try. I might go for the boats later. Let's see if I can't at least get another, uh, run on on these, uh, moving targets from a diagonal. Let's see, um, I, I don't want to risk it. I might just get one there. Got one? Uh, now nah, I'm not going to go for two. It's just not worth it. Um, I'd probably fly into the uh, base hangar. Of course, right now the people at the base are saying, oh my god, we got a rogue one. Scramble, scramble. <laughs> He's killing our own troops. That indeed I am. This is a test. Oh, well, that's what they want, you think. But no, this is not a test. This is real world. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Of course, I'm probably going to kill myself before they even get a chance to scramble, but hey, just say. Hey, I got to keep this interesting, you know? Anyhow, all right, let's go for these boats. 
or, or, or uh, landing crafts. Yeah, they're not boats. Or, well, yeah, technically they're boats, but they're landing craft. Let's see. I'm. Uh, I hope I don't crash into something. Come on. Got one. Am I gonna get two? Nope. Okay, pull up. Pull up. Nope. See, this it's just not very maneuverable. Well, I think that's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna have uh, more videos on some of the new aircraft coming up, as well as the tech tree. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are. Please uh, leave a comment, rate, or subscribe. Until uh, you know, I really appreciate your feedback, everyone. And until next time, everyone. This is Tony for the Sim Sim Channel. Signing out. Wishing all of you a great day. And there she is, the um, twin Mustang in all of her beauty. And uh, I'll just uh, circle around it and uh, call this video a day. I'll catch you next time, everyone.